little secret you might not know. Employers rarely make the best offer first, and candidates who negotiate their salaries generally earn more than those who don't. My name is Margaret Bui, I'm an interview coach, and in today's video I wanted to give you a few tips on how to negotiate your salary in a new job. So let's get started. Firstly, do your research. Before you go for an interview, you should have an idea of what the salary range for such a position might be. If you are dealing with a recruitment agency, they should be able to advise you on the salary. And there are also salary serv surveys available online. There are also websites such as Glassdoor or payscale.com or salary.com where you should be able to find out at least approximately what someone of your experience should be earning. Also, believe that you can negotiate in this economy. Um, I know it might be very hard to, to get hired and there are a lot of candidates applying for the same positions. And I know that in some sectors, um, let's say public sector, it might not be possible to negotiate because the salary ranges are fixed. However, in most cases, since you have been chosen as the best candidate for the job, you are in an excellent position to negotiate. So what do you actually say when they ask you, so what salary are you looking for? I would actually recommend that you mention a range. If you ask for a specific number, it's highly unlikely that you will get anything higher than that. So you might want to say something like, I'm currently earning 65,000 and I am interviewing for positions between 70 and 80,000 and that's ideally what I am looking for. Or you might want to say, I am ideally looking for, you mentioned the range, however, I am mostly interested in getting into the right organization or getting the right position. So you never want to show like money is your main motivation to change jobs. Also, don't be afraid to ask, but don't demand either. You want to communicate to your prospective employer that your goal is a win-win solution. If you're too pushy, the employer might get an impression that you are not that interested in a job or that you're only interested in the money and they might withdraw the offer. Also, remember to keep selling yourself. As you go through the interview and negotiation process, remind the employer how they will benefit from your skills and experience. You need to justify every pound or dollar or every benefit and that you request. And remember to do so by focusing on the employer needs, not your needs. Also, make them jealous a little bit. If you have another offer, if you are interviewing with other companies and you have actually received another offer, mention that. If you have a higher offer from another organization, sometimes that can help you negotiate a higher offer from the company you're currently interviewing with. And also ask for a fair price. Um, it's good to ask for more money, but it also has to be in line with what the marketplace is, is paying. If you suddenly ask for 30,000 more than everyone else is earning, then you're likely to price yourself out of the market. Um, and finally, be confident. Remember to use confident body language and speech patterns. When you make a salary requ request, don't go on and on stating over and over again why it's justified. Make your request and offer a short, simple explanation as to why that amount is appropriate and then just don't say anything. Let them speak. Ideally, both parties in the negotiation should come away from the negotiation table feeling that they've won. You want employers to have a good feeling about the price they've paid for your services so that your working relationship begins on a positive note. I very much hope that you found this video useful. And um, if you want more tips on salary negotiation, check out my online course, Get the Job You Want. There is a whole webinar there on salary negotiation where I talk in a lot of detail about how the salary negotiation game is played in today's market. How do you negotiate with the recruiter versus directly with the hiring manager? I provide some salary negotiation scripts and I give you some examples on how you answer this question. Um, you will see the link just below this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you soon on another video. Bye for now.